Hello, this is William Cooper. Welcome to Awakening Together, Relaxing into Happiness. I trust you're doing well. Today, I'd like to work with a meditation called Chakra Dhyana. Dhyana means meditation in Sanskrit, and chakras are the seven main energy centers that run up and down the spine. There's actually thousands of small chakras that are all through the body, and they are lines of energy that run through the body called nadis, and that's in the Hindu system. In the Chinese system, those lines of energy are called meridians, and perhaps you've heard about them if you have worked with acupuncture because... The acupuncture points are located on the meridians. In this meditation, I'd like to work with the seven main energy chakras or energy centers. And I'll describe generally where they are, but with all energy work, it's really good for you to trust yourself And just notice where you feel sensations or energy in your body. It may not be exactly in the classic seven places that it is said to be. So trust your body and go with where it actually is rather than where I say it's supposed to be. But it'll be pretty close to where I'm saying, likely. So the first energy center is at the root, which is at the base of your spine. And the second energy center, or chakra, is in the genital area. Third is somewhere around the navel or solar plexus. Fourth is in the heart area. Fifth is in the throat area. Sixth is in the third eye, the point right above the center between your two eyebrows. And if you're wondering where that is, you can just Google it, third eye. And the top of your head. In this meditation, the chakra dhyana, what we're going to do is say a mantra which has an energy vibration And we're going to have a different mantra with each chakra. And that vibration is designed to open up, heal, and resume the natural flow in that chakra, in that energy center. The mantras are this. For the first chakra, the mantra is LAM. For the second one, the mantra is Vang. For the third, the mantra is Rang. Fourth, Yang. Fifth, Hang. Sixth, Om. Seventh can either just be silence as you open up and flow into the divine, into the infinite, or you can vibrate the seventh energy center or chakra with the mantra Ogum Satcham Om. We'll use the mantra for this practice. We'll be vibrating the mantra seven times for each chakra. When you do it on your own, you don't have to worry about it exactly being seven because you might lose count. Also, you can say it at a pitch and a cadence of flow that is natural for you on the day that you're doing it. Don't go with what I'm doing. We're just doing a practice today just to walk you through it. 
let it be natural to you because it's your energy and it's sounds that open up your energy centers. So adjust it in any way that you want. Modify it in any way that you want, if you prefer. So I'm going to walk you through a typical chakra dhyana. And you can do, by the way, more than seven if you want, or less than seven. If you don't have much time, you could just do one per chakra. Perhaps you have a moment between meetings and you just want to do one per chakra. You can do that. And as we said in a past podcast, what happens when you're doing your meditation as you're on your path of awakening, and perhaps you've already awakened, the body holds a lot of excess residue, a lot of old sludge, a lot of old thoughts and emotions get stored in the body, and they become stored in your chakras as well, in your energy centers. So even though you become more and more awake, we want to include your body because that's part of your experience in life, is your body. So we want your body to be radiant and open, and this helps to open your energy centers. And because those are major energy hubs, that energy can flow through your nadis or your meridians very nicely, and they can open up and flow and channel health and radiance because you are a radiant being. And that's the posture that we want you to experience day to day because the old posture has been one that's been closed off and separated because that's the bodily experience of separation. Awakening is opening. It's oneness. It's flowing. It's radiance. So let's open our body. We don't want to just unconsciously carry old postures even in our chakras which are closed. So let a radiant light, vibration, and beautiful energy flow through your chakras as you vibrate and let them open. Okay, so let's do the chakra dhyana together. We'll do seven vibrations. We'll say the mantra seven times for each chakra. So take a deep breath. Close your eyes. And we'll start at the root chakra and move upward. So putting your attention on the root chakra, the base of your spine, your perineum area, the base of you where you're where you're touching the chair so beginning to chant long and feel it let it vibrate through your cells let it open you up long Long, 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 long. Long. And now, moving your attention to your second chakra, the genital area. Vong. Let it vibrate open. Vong. Let each chakra feel really good as they open and receive the beauty of you. Vong. Your light, your beautiful energy. 
パーン。ファーン。ファーン。ファTo your throat chakra, right around your Adam's apple or the hollow, right where your throat sort of connects to your chest. But you find where it is for you. And all of these mantras, it's like toning that we talked about in the last podcast. You let the energy center itself, let it tone, let it express itself simply using the sound. And for the throat area, it's hum, 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 hum. And now moving your attention to your third eye, we chant Aum. Aum. Feel the vibration continuing to open your third eye. Take all the time you'd like between chakras to let the opening continue to flow, because after all, that's the point. And now, the chakra at the top of your head. The fontanelle, that's the very the soft place at the top of your head. And that chakra is aimed upwards. You can simply remain in quiet and just feel the radiance and the opening upward 
perhaps merging with the infinite, merging with oneness. That can be the end of your meditation if you'd like, to just rest there with your attention on the fontanelle. Or you can chant the mantra Ogum Satcham Aum and perhaps rest silently after, whatever you'd like. So we'll chant the mantra seven times. Ogum Satcham Aum 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 And let those vibrations continue. Enjoy them as you feel your crown chakra continuing to open and flow. You can combine some of these meditations. For instance, in the past podcast, I talked about tightening and then relaxing. After this chakra dhyana, as you feel the flow in your body, you might tighten every muscle, tight, 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 and let go. And now feel that vibration moving through every cell in your body, including your chakras. And that more complete flow Isn't that awakening? Yes. That's awakening in the body. You can tone afterwards. You can do the smiling meditation that we talked about. You can do whatever you'd like. What works for you today? You trust yourself. Okay, I've enjoyed today's meditations. I look forward to talking to you again next week. Take care. Bye.